guys, so I am so excited because today I am going to be unboxing and reviewing the new Snapchat spectacles for you guys. And I actually got these as a gift and I basically freaked out when I got them. But don't worry, if you're looking for a pair of your own, I'm going to let you know how you can find them as well as doing a review on them. And then we are going to go to Santa Monica because I want to show you guys how they actually film and how they'll actually look when you upload them to your Snapchat. So let's get into the video. Alright, so first things first, let's open these up. So they come in this little yellow case which has little black specks all over it and then it also has a little Snapchat tag right here which is actually kind of cute. So when you open them up they look like this. And the case actually doubles as a charger and you can tell that it's charging because of these little lights right here around the edge that tells you that the glasses are actually charging. Alright, let's pull these out. So here's what they look like. And this, these side things are actually pretty thick, but there's a button right here on the left side at the top. And when you put them on, how do they look? You just click this little button right here and it starts recording. So um, I know that if you click it once, it records for 10 seconds. But before that 10 seconds is up, if you want to make your video a little bit longer, you can click it again and then it will add 10 seconds on to whatever you've already filmed. Um, if you want to do a shorter Snapchat, you just click it and then when you want to end it, if you want to end it before the 10 seconds, you just click, click and hold again. So click to start and then hold it to stop your Snapchat. Alright, let's see what else came in the case. So it also comes with this little tiny box. And then it has instructions on the inside about how to connect your glasses to your Snapchat using Bluetooth. And then inside the little case is a charging cord and this is what you're going to charge your case with. And then it also comes with this little tiny cleaning cloth for the glasses. Alright, so I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a closer look of the actual glasses themselves. I got the all black pair. I know that there are a few different colors out there, but these ones are completely black and then they have two little yellow rings right here. So this side on the right side is the lens and over here on this side is just an indicator of whether you are charging your glasses or recording. So when I actually hit the little record button, which is up here on the left side, there is a little light that comes on and that's how you can tell that you are recording and you can actually see this light from the inside while you are wearing the glasses. Alright, so lastly I just want to show you guys how you actually charge your spectacles using the case. So the case on the right side has these little charging ports and they just connect with these ones that are on the glasses and so you just set your glasses into the case and it's like a magnet, it comes together really nicely. So this glowing circle right here lets you guys know that the glasses are actually charging in the case. Alright, so if you guys really like these glasses and you want to get a pair of them for yourself, then this is where it gets really confusing. So in order to get a pair of these glasses, you actually have to go on your Snapchat. And I'll be showing you guys exactly how to do that in just a minute. But I just want to explain that these come out of a vending machine, which are called Snapbots. And there's only ever one Snapbot in one place in the US at one time. And it's only there for 24 hours. Alright, so now I'm going to show you guys how to look it up on your Snapchat and then I will explain it further for you guys. So in order to find a pair, you just want to go into the Snapchat app and then click on the ghost and then go to settings. Scroll down to where it says spectacles right here. Click on that and then you want to find a pair. So you click on this little here button. And then you're going to scroll down to find a bot, which is right here. And then it's going to bring up this timer for you. Alright, so once that timer runs out, then Snapchat will release the location of their Snapbot or Snapchat vending machine. And like I said, it's only ever in one location at one time. So there will only be one little Snapbot and the first one ever was in Venice Beach, California. So I'll just give you guys an example using that. So it'll show you like a little tiny Snapbot and it'll show you that it's in Venice Beach and it'll show you basically the, the cross streets that it's next to and it's on like a little Google Maps type um, page so it's actually not that hard to find but the Snapbot will only be there for 24 hours and then it's gone and then a new countdown will start. 
So as you can imagine, they are actually really hard to find and get a pair. You just have to watch the countdown and then hope that you are in that general area uh, where they release the location. And then they only hold 200 pairs of glasses, so you have to be able to get to that location before 200 other people in order to get in line to get a pair. And so if you buy them from the vending machine, they cost $129, but um, they have been selling online. That's where actually the person that got me these ones, they bought them online, but they can be selling for a ridiculous amount of money. I think um, the person that got me these got them for about 200 something, but when I found out about these and I wanted a pair, I looked them up and the only pair that I could find was selling for $600 and I was not going to pay that. So um, I was actually really lucky that I got a pair of these. I know if you look on Craigslist, eBay, or maybe even Amazon, I'm sure you can find a pair, but you will be paying more than the $139 that you would pay if you got them from the actual vending machine. Alright, so I hope all that stuff made sense to you guys. Now I'm going to be headed to Santa Monica and we're going to test these out. That way you guys can see how they actually look when you're out and about in public and how they look while they're filming. Alright guys, so the very last thing that I want to show you is how to actually upload your snaps from your spectacles to your Snapchat. So to do this, you're just going to go into the Snapchat app and then click this little button right down here at the bottom and it'll bring up all your Snapchats. You can do like regular snaps or just specs and then they'll all be in here so you can just go through them like this or you can hit edit and send and then you can scroll through them like this and if you want to edit them, just click this little pencil button right here and then it'll bring you into it like it's a normal snapchat and you can put the filters on it and fast forward it and do all that sort of stuff and put all the geo tags on it as well so yeah that's how you guys upload your snaps to snapchat alright guys so that does it for this video if you guys want to add me on snapchat and see all my future awesome snaps using the spectacles then I will be putting my username right here at the bottom go ahead and add me if you guys found this video helpful or if you like this video then please be sure to give it a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well I will see you guys very soon in my next video alright bye guys <laughs>